Hi everybody, my name is Mr Grierson, I'm the Deputy Head Teacher at Burbage High School. Uh, welcome to our Year 6 Virtual Parents Evening presentation. Obviously we'd love to see you in person at the school in the hall so you can have a visit and see what it's like, but unfortunately we can't do that. So this is what we're doing. I know some of you managed to come to the, the Google Meets that we'd arranged. Some of you had some difficulty getting in, so we're putting out this narrated PowerPoint for anybody who doesn't manage to get to or, or miss the meetings. And again, apologies for any technical issues that happen during those meetings. So let's get going then. Okay. So I'm going to talk to you about the role of the form tutor. Now, students will have form every single day. It's the main point of contact um, in terms of we look at behaviour, we look at progress, we look at attendance and attitude to learning. So in terms of behaviour, if we get any concerns about behaviour, negatives, that type of thing, or positive behaviour, we will let you know about it. We'll, we'll keep you informed about it. Because what we've found is working in partnership with parents is, is the best way to help. No one wants to find out down the line that your child's been misbehaving for five, six, seven, eight weeks and you didn't know anything about it. So we get in touch. In terms of progress, how they're doing in the subjects, we've got different progress points throughout the year. And, it, and what you'll do is you'll get report cards coming out that tell you how your student's doing in different subjects. Obviously, attendance is so, so important in the school. The better the attendance, generally, the better people do in, in school. So we'll be monitoring that um, very closely as well. That's what the, the pastoral tutor does. Um, attitude to learning. Obviously, we want students to have the best attitude to learning, to come ready to learn in the lesson, to come properly prepared and to do the best. Okay. So we'll look at that as well. So if we get any information from different teachers that you, your child is doing particularly well on a subject or not doing as well, then we would uh, contact you about that. So what do we use form time for? Form time is used for a number of things. Uh, getting students to know each other. I know that one of the biggest worries that people have got is that when you come to high school from a small primary school, and I've, I've got students who've children of my own who've got that experience, you worry about, oh my God, are they going to blend in? Are they going to have friends? Are they going to be with their friends? So what we've got at Burbage High School, there's about 30 primary schools that feed into our secondary school, 30 of them. Some of them only send three children. Some of them send one child. So your child will not be on their own when they get here. Okay. They will very quickly meet friends within form. So getting to know other people is quite important in form and they'll get to do that. It's the first port of call for support. If your child is concerned about something or you've got a concern, normally the first person to contact is the form tutor to see if they can, they can resolve that. Um, they will check that planners are used effectively. All students will have a planner and we ask that you have a look at that because we ask them to put homework in there, any positive things that are happening, so we'll ask you to sign that so we can see you've, you've looked at it. Do you know what's actually happening there? Um, in terms of like academic progress, target setting, students will have information put in their plan and stuck in after they do their tracking. So you can see where they're up to, what the targets are and how well they're doing. And the form group helps to establish that the high standards that we've got in the school, the high standards of behaviour, the high standards of, sort of working hard, supporting each other. And we're very much a sort of family-based school. We are smaller than your traditional secondary school, so everybody gets to know each other very, very quickly. OK, a really important aspect of the form tutor's role is monitoring absence and attendance. So when they do the register, they will check to see if there's any patterns emerging, things like are, are, are children coming on late in specific days, are they being off on certain days? So we look at that because attendance is really, really important to the success of your child. So if your child is going to be absent, you make sure you give us a call uh, to the main switchboard. If you don't give us a call, then we'll get in touch with you to find out why, why your child's off. Uh, we will send absence letters out if they've been absent for a number of times, if there's any sort of specific trigger points, if we're concerned about um, an absence pattern, we'll, we'll get in touch with you as well. So we can either contact you by phone, uh, by telephone, or maybe by email if the attendance drops below a certain level. Okay, so only the two, the first two absence for illness will be authorised. Okay, so if your child's off two periods of absence, that, that can be authorised if you let us know. After that, after that second period, 
what we look for is medical evidence that's required for authorization. So have a look at the, the school attendance policy on the website for that. Family holidays are not permitted in school term time. Okay. So the better the attendance, the better the progress. Right. Other aspect that the form tutor does is making sure the planning is good. All students will get a, a planner. Um, they must keep it in good condition. It must last throughout the whole of year seven. And basically the communication between school and home is signed every week checked by the tutor on a Monday morning. So if there's anything that's been put in the planner about if there's been a positive comment for a tutor, if there's been some homework, we're just checking that, that you've read it, any pieces of information that children have to write down. Now, in the school, we like to reward students who get things right. So they'll receive rewards each week, which are recorded electronically. And those points result in things like treats, visits, we do reward trips to Flamingo Land, just as an example. So attendance is quite important, but the rewards are in the classroom, you work hard, we, we record those rewards. And at the end of each term, we do certificates and we do specific awards. It might be having a, a, a nice morning having cakes with some members of the senior leadership team for really good performance. Now, consequences. Uh, basically, on My Child at School, which is an app which you can, you can download, that will tell you if your child has got any negative points, any negatives on the system, if they've disrupted a lesson, that will be recorded on there. If they've made a really positive contribution, that will be recorded on there. So you can look at that each day and see whether or not something's happening in school. And it's, we encourage all parents to, to download this app. Uh, so in terms of like consequences, uh, the vast majority of children in our school do not get consequences because the vast majority do everything right first time, every time. If your child does get consequences, they, they can take the form of um, lunchtime detentions, break detentions, after school detentions. But you would be informed if that, if that was actually going to happen. Now, the other thing that the form tutors do is to look at individual targets and tracking. And we basically, if we're concerned about a student in specific subjects or different subjects, we'll sit down and have a chat with them and find out, <coughs> excuse me, if there's anything we can do to help them with that. So the plan is really important. It's a really good organisation tool for, for the young people. And the big difference between moving up to, from primary school to secondary school, without stating the obvious, is they will have a lot more different teachers. Um, they will be, won't be stuck in one place, they'll be moving around the school. So there's, there's more to remember, and this is why having that planner helps to keep them organised. It's a good tool, they can write in when they've got homework to do, make sure it's handed in. The timetable will be printed out and stuck at the front of the, the planner so they can get to know what the timetable is. Now, in terms of like homework, um, average a couple of pieces a, a day, depending on the number of subjects you've got, each piece should have a maximum of, of, of 30 minutes. If you're struggling with a piece of homework, go and see the, the teacher. What if students don't hand in homework, we we record that. We record that as a as a, as a negative. If it was persistently not doing homework, then the, there could be consequences for that. But what we want to try and do is encourage people, if they're struggling to do the homework, please get in touch before the deadline and we'll see what we can do. We don't get that homework on one day and say, you must hand this in tomorrow. We give people some, some time to actually do it. OK. OK, school uniform, really, really important. When you dress properly, help to prepare you to be ready to learn. It's like you, your work outfit. When you've got it on, you're ready to work. So we're really proud of our uniform. Classic design, classic black lay blazer with a school logo on it, black trousers, tailored formal straight leg trousers, no tight leggings. Black skirt with school logo and black 40 denier tights. OK, so it's um, white shirt, no other colour of shirt. You can either have long sleeved or short sleeved um, school clip on tie. Uh, there's an optional plain black jumper or cardigan, which students might want for the winter when it gets a bit colder. Um, socks are black, grey or white and shoes, black leather, leather type, sensible and safe. If you're unsure about whether or not the uniform you've got is quite appropriate or quite right, please get in touch with us and we'll, we'll get back to you on that. PE kit, 
black and gold top with the school logo, black logo shorts, black logo skirt. And again, white socks, black and gold football socks, we wear trainers, or football boots. We don't prescribe any colour of trainers or football boots. Okay. So lunches. So lunch works through a cashless system. Um, we have a system called Parent Mail, which you can load money onto, and your students then will get receive a. Uh, um, they can use that for like paying. We have a fingerprint system whereby students can see how much money is in their account. So everything is cashless, contactless throughout throughout the school. So we don't bring, we don't use money. Um, you can contact the school if there's been any problems. If you if you've not managed to put money on the student's account, you're worried about them not getting the lunch. We would never allow that to happen. If, if for whatever reason there's been a problem with money getting transferred, the students don't quite have enough on there. We will always make sure that they that they get a lunch because that can always get rectified. Mobile phones. Uh, we strongly discourage students not to bring mobile phones into school. They're not permitted to be used inside the school building. If we see students using them in the school building, we will confiscate them. If that happens multiple times, we will contact you and, and advise, don't let them bring the phone into school. Uh, if students need to contact someone, then uh, they can go to the school office. If you need to contact a student in the school, please contact the office. We will very quickly go and, go and find them. We have bag storage areas, we've got lockers, and these are all monitored by CCTV. Bullying. The, the key thing about bullying in our school, we are a small school. We get to know everybody very, very quickly. Um, break time, lunch times, we've got lots of staff out and about supervising every area. If you feel that you're being bullied, or there's bullying behaviour taking place, tell us right away. We take everything seriously, fully investigate it, we record it and let you know what, what we've done about it. So it's, it's really important that you do tell us what's going on, we, we take it really seriously. There's lots of people who can help with this, form tutor, pastoral manager, teachers, people who are mentoring in school, support staff as a healthy child team, but basically whoever your child feels comfortable talking to, whatever member of staff it is, we will we'll gladly resolve this as, as quickly as we can. Okay, so basically if you do have any questions, please just send an email to the school and we will get back to you as quickly as possible. Thank you very much for watching and we cannot wait to see you in September. Or if you're coming to summer school, we cannot wait to see you in August. Take care. I'm, I'm Mr. Grayson, Deputy Head Teacher. Goodbye.